So you're looking at Windows 11 and um, you download the little PC health check thing and then you run it. Um, and then this happens. <laughs> um, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. You look at all the results and it's like tick, 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 tick. Everything's fine except for uh, TPM version 2. Must be supported and enabled on this PC. And um, yeah, so for Aces motherboards and for a lot of other motherboards as well, um, this is what you do. I'll restart this machine and we'll go into the BIOS and then um, we'll make a little tweak. So I'm just going to tap the Dell key a lot. Right, and we're now in the BIOS. So for Asus motherboards, um, we will be going to Advanced, Dink, and then there's a setting there called PCHFW Configuration. We'll click on that. And then we click on uh, PTT Configuration. And you see it says TPM Device Selection. The default is DTPM which obviously Windows 11 doesn't detect as being valid. So if we click that and change that to PTT, and then ignore what it says there, click OK, we don't need to change the other setting, and then we'll just exit, but we'll save the changes and reset the computer and see what it does. So we're just going to reset So I'm now running the PC health check again, having got to the desktop, and I'll just do check now. And yay, everything's fine. So um, on Asus motherboards, you change that one setting and that's literally all you do. So don't panic. Um, Windows 11 should install quite happily. This actual motherboard is a hero. Um, it's uh, about three years old and it was a bit of a surprise when it decided it wasn't going to work. So yes, um, if it's been useful, then obviously buy me a coffee. That would be helpful. Uh, liking and subscribing is always appreciated. Uh, any comments on this, stick them in the comments. Um, and um, as ever, thanks for watching.